Your mother has been waiting for this moment and it is finally here. KSI versus Tampa. Sidemen versus FaZe. Who will be victorious? We will find out January 14th. KSI will be fighting a six foot four Southpaw. Recently had a knockout. Has the range of a giraffe and the power of a bull. Will KSI stay undefeated and be victorious? We will see January 14th. Only on the zone pay per view. But how do we watch it on the zone pay per view? Shut up! I'm going to tell you! Why are you always shouting? I don't know! Because it's hype! First, head to the zone.com. Boom! There it is KSI versus Temper. If you're new to the zone, sign up for a monthly subscription of $7.99. Create your account. Put in your payment detail, and after that, you are finished. And boom, you have a DAZN subscription. If you already have a DAZN subscription, just sign in. Now all you need to do is find KSI versus Temper. Now buy KSI versus Temper for $11.99. Put in your payment details, and boom, you have purchased KSI versus Temper. If you live outside of these 10 territories, then all you need to do is subscribe to the zone. No pay per view for you. Super easy. The undercard is stacked, and the main card will be fireworks. I will see you all January 14th. Also, don't be a pirate. Do you know why I do the pirates? Hey, yo, are you a pirate? <laughs> the gate! Don't be a pirate. It costs a lot to make these events. Wow, that was intense. Sounds like a good fight though. All right, today it's your boy KSI and we are gonna be looking at some offensive stuff. We do love our offensive things. Let's see uh, how this how this can turn south. Davidson's here. I'm appalled that people would come here and make jokes about the sacrifice Pete's heroic father made on 9-11. This is not the roast of Pete Davidson's father. That was in 2001. <gasps> I mean, bro, fair play. Like, if you got, if you're able to give it, then you should be able to take it. But damn, that was, that was, that was a bit mad. Did Joe Biden pull out the Afghanistan war? Ooh, why? It was over 18 years old. Ooh, yes! Yes! This guy enjoyed this joke way too much. <laughs> There's something, something going on there. <laughs> over 18, yes! Over 18! Woo! <laughs> My man's compensating for some of it. Thought about the fact that your mom might have ate your dad's ass at one point. Okay. I, I don't want to think about And then that. immediately kissed you goodnight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're thinking about it. Oh. Not just the ass, but just like any other time that yeah. they probably had sex and then that's disgusting. <laughs> Oh God! Nah, I've got African parents. They don't have sex. They don't even have any physical contact. <laughs> it's forbidden. <laughs> Obviously, I was born because of God. God put the Holy Spirit in my mom and got <laughs> became pregnant. <laughs> I am a son of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> that is very disgusting to think of, though, especially nowadays. Nowadays, there's visual evidence of that happening. Like I know people who have only fans and kids. <laughs> Doing madness, kissing that that kid goodnight, using the same hands that they wanked off Johnny with to cradle their kid, <laughs> using that same nipple that they gave to the man Dingo <laughs> to suck on. It's the same one that their kid is sucking on. <laughs> we all sharing nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Why have I put that in all of our heads? I'm sorry. POV Michael Jackson. Oh, I get it, cause he's black, and then puts his hand in the water. He's white. That was really, that was really dead. That was dead. Make me laugh, I'll give you twenty dollars. What's the difference between an orphan and an apple tree? What's the difference? The apples get picked. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. Watch black and long. What? The lining KFC. Oh. <laughs> you laughed. I did. I did laugh. You but did I don't laugh. know if I was supposed to laugh. Yeah. It was <laughs> What's the hardest part of a vegetable to eat? What part? The wheelchair. Oh my god. 
is my tall, skinny, liberal emo. Well, if we take a gander out here, it's probably hanging off one of these trees. Oh. My. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. I just. Well, looky here. If it isn't Tarzan and the charcoal monkey. <laughs> What the? Excuse me, are you seriously making fun of my friend for the color of his skin? Bradley is fine. I'm no, 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 Tyreek, I got this. Now you listen here, pal. When you look at me, uh -oh. you might see a big lit, baboon faced, huh? watermelon eating cool, hey, yo! burnt specimen of a man. Damn! But when I look at him, I see a human being. Somebody that has you had sure? to come. Far more obstacles than me and you will ever have to. Oh my so god! Next time you want to come to the jungle, and hey! Approach this why are we in the jungle, brother? Why are we in the jungle? Why am I a monkey? You're meant to be my friend. <laughs> so the next time you want to come to the jungle and approach this charcoal monkey, at least charcoal with a banana. Hey, nah. Nah, he's an op, he's an op. We're literally in a classroom. What kind of fucking jungle is this? Nah, brother, you're getting beat. You ain't a friend. There are no words. These millennials can't live without technology. Girl, can you? The Paralympics are the most unfair sporting event there is. You never fucking hear them complaining, do you? The amount of times I've watched go. the Paralympics, I've watched an event say it's like swimming or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's like lane one, guy with cerebral palsy. Okay. Lane two, guy with no arms, no legs. Uh -huh. It's like a head bobbing around in the water like that. Lane three, guy with a hearing aid in one fucking ear. <laughs> lane four, guy in a wheelchair. Lane five, guy with fucking hay fever. <laughs> hay fever? <laughs> they start the race, back <laughs> off, guy with cerebral palsy just trying to get going like this. Guy with no arms, no legs, just bobbing around like that. <laughs> looking like someone's dropped a chicken nugget in the back. Oh my god. Guy in the wheelchair just sunk straight to the fucking bottom of the pool. He's just trying to get going like this. Guy with the hearing aid's got no fucking idea the race is even going on. <laughs> Where the fucking hell are me mates? What's happening here? Guy with hay fever just fucking crushing it. <laughs> Song about my dad, please. He just died in a car crash and you doing this would mean the world to me. <sighs> Man, I got you. No. Fuck your dad, daddy. Fuck your grandpa. Fuck your mom, too. I hope every person that you love is finna die, too. Your daddy cannot drop. Now he can't even just live. If I was in your shoes, I would just kill myself like him. On oh, your daddy dead. Oh, my God. On uh, uh, your daddy dead. Your daddy dead. Uh, uh. Shout out to your mom, because she deal with that little man. Send her right along my way. She cannot handle what I pack. Uh. Hey, yo. Bro, this is why you don't. Ask people on TikTok. <laughs> you don't ask people on TikTok to do anything because it's always a madness. We know he's going from Bond to Broadway. Craig will star in Macbeth opposite actress Ruth McGuck. <laughs> oh, yes. No, that, that ain't no way that's a real name. Ruth Negger. Yo, it's a setup. It's a setup. Oh my god. She's actually real. Oh. Her surname is Negger. Damn. Nationality. Irish. Nah, man. You Irish are taking the piss here. <laughs> nah, man. You taking the piss. Imagine enjoying any film with her in it. You'd, you'd hate yourself. Like, she's the star actress. You're like, oh, yeah. Have you guys, have you seen that movie? Ah, oh, the one with Roof. What, Roof who? Ah, oh, Roof, Roof, Ruinang. <coughs> Roof what? Ruinang. <clears throat> now, brother, I can't hear you. Ruth Negga, brother. Negga, Negga, Negga. <laughs> that's wild. I can't believe that's her name. That's, that, I mean, I mean, it is, but <laughs> damn. Opposite actress Ruth Negga. Negga? Negga? Negga. Yes. Oh, my God. She said it how many times? Oh, three times. It's like, nigga? Nigga. Nigga? Am I saying it right? Nigga? Niggas. <laughs> Know that you could breathe in the shower. What? Fuck me, love. What kind of showers you been taking? Yeah, for the real. Ones? Oh my god, bro. That's... There's the Vietnam War Memorial. Hey, check out that Vietnamese guy giving the business to those Vietnam vets. Scoreboard! Scoreboard! Oh, what happened to your friend? Hey, I know that guy. I kill him. He cried like a bitch. Vietnam undefeated. <laughs> 
my god! Blair River, the so-called spokesmodel of the heart attack grill, featured in a series of tongue-in-cheek commercials that have gone viral. I'm at 570 pounds, what? six foot eight. Yeah, so. Damn. We met Blair in January. Back then, he told us one of the perks of the job is eating free. Anyone who is over 350 pounds doesn't have to pay. I'm big, you know what I mean? Bro, so, it's so a trap. It's literally called Heart Attack Cafe. They're just killing people who are obese. <laughs> They're just trying to kill you off. Oh my God. Sadly, we now know how long that was. Blair died last week at the age of 29. His family says the cause of death was pneumonia. The CDC 29! Oh my God. Oh my God. Shock. People over the weight of 350 pounds eat for free. Like, what do you think about to happen, man? God damn it. Is this how America is solving their obesity problem? <laughs> Just make them eat themselves to death. What you call a book club that's stuck on the same book for years. I uh, just tell me, bro. Church. Oh. Oh. Good one. Uh -huh. Good one. I got it. Uh -huh. What do you call a man with no hoes? A man with no. I feel like I know where this is going. I don't know. What's your name? Ah! Uh, <laughs> I don't mean that, but I like it. I got him. <laughs> let's try some properly offensive jokes. See how we get along. All right, let's go, Jimmy. 99% of women kiss with their eyes closed, which is why it's so difficult to identify a rapist. Oh. 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 Let's have a little time out there <laughs> and discuss the rules of the game. Oh my god. I never actually got to meet my granddad though. He actually passed away before I was born. Uh, cancer again, like the family curse is taking so many of us and stuff. Um, but my dad actually beat cancer, which is I think, really positive again, like I said, it's nice. a lot of tragedy. Uh, and he beat it in his own way, which is really cool, because he hung himself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh man. Last year I went to a new school and I was put in a black feminist literature class, right? I don't know why, but I didn't sign up for classes. They threw me in some. I was like, all right, cool, let's see. Oh, this is gonna go. I got very high, and then I got lost on the first day. Then I find the class, I'm like, you know what? I'm a little paranoid, I wanna make a quiet entrance. I open the door, it hits the wall loud as fucking shit. <laughs> Everybody looks at me, I jump because I'm scared, and I'm looking at 25 black girls are in this class, and me, in a pink polo, looking like white privilege, decide to show up with the counter argument 20 minutes fucking late. <laughs> And I don't know what to do, right? It's a tense moment. I'm high. The teacher's staring at me. I just want to let everybody know we're together. So I was just like, Wakanda. And they were like, oh, <laughs> my God. Yep. Perfect thing to do in a room full of black people. like, fucking what? I'm like, no way. Oh, God. All right, well, there's definitely a lot of uh, offensive things in there. Uh, hopefully, I didn't get cancelled. <laughs> I'll see you later. Take care and peace.